Welcome back to my latest insider guide to all things property related. In this episode, I'm going to be looking at how many viewings it might take to sell a house. You should make sure you have your legal team all teed up and ready to go even before you've got an offer. So we've popped in a link below that will connect you directly to our panel of approved conveyances. Selling your home can be unpredictable and there's no blueprint you can follow that guarantees a successful sale. I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it is. But on the flip side, it is good to know a few pointers. With that in mind, how many viewings does it take to sell a house? Well, believe it or not, the average is 10. But of course, that number can be higher or lower depending on whether it's a hot or a cold market. While you may not sell your home in one or two viewings, my experience of buying and selling hundreds of properties and helping people through the years tells me that the best and the most committed buyers usually walk through your door within the first three weeks. However, it usually takes around four to six months from listing to actually completion. So how many viewings should you aim for? A couple a week is actually quite a good number, but in a cold market, you might only expect one every week or two the property market tends to be quieter around Christmas time and in the colder months. However, that doesn't mean you should avoid selling them. There are upsides to a winter sale, including less competition on the market. Next, let's look at how many viewings it takes before you get an offer. Again, there's no hard or fast number on this, um, but second viewings usually indicate at least a decent level of interest. You can usually tell committed buyers apart from time wasters by seeing if they have a mortgage in principle, gauging their interest in your property by the questions that they ask, finding out if they already have a solicitor on board and getting an idea of the timelines that they're looking to move within. But what if you're not getting viewings? Or what if you're not getting enough viewings? Your estate agent and how they market your home is absolutely key here. Common reasons for lack of viewings include the price, has it been set too high? Poor marketing, including inadequate listings on websites. Perhaps the pictures, the photographs, the marketing material isn't good enough or plentiful enough, or the description is lacking. Sometimes it could be that you've not actually instructed the right estate agent for your type of property in your market. And if you're getting viewings but not offers, could it be that visitors are receiving a poor impression, perhaps due to household smells or clutter or something that's wrong with the actual house as it stands and as it's presented. The listing is your chance to make a good first impression. And it's this, along with price, that will largely determine how many viewings you get and therefore how long your home takes to sell. Photos need to be of the highest quality and there should be enough of them. There should be a decent number, but no need to take a picture of the understairs loo or something. Does the description showcase your property in its best light? Are the unique features or the key selling points being highlighted strongly enough? You would also need to ensure that your estate agent is featuring your home on the property portals as this is the first place most buyers look. If you want to speed the sale along, try these tips. One, be open and communicative at every step. Two, Promote the area as well as the property. Three, ensure your solicitor is proactive and if necessary, micromanage the sale yourself. For a fast sale, look for a cash buyer or at least a chain free buyer. You could also look at selling via auction, either in person or online. You won't always get top dollar that way, but you will avoid property chains and time wasters. If you found this useful, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the alert button so that you don't miss any new episodes. There's plenty of them to come. And do please also visit my website for loads more information and top tips. It's moveiq.co.uk.